Hello, I am Dr. Santosh, Consultant Nephrologist and Transplant Physician at Care Hospital, Hyderabad. Uh, today we are going to discuss about diabetic, diabetes related kidney diseases also known as diabetic CKD or diabetic nephropathy. Uh, diabetes being the most common cause all over the world for the kidney failure needs a special mention because diabetes is a silent killer and also kidney diseases being silent in early stages also known as silent killer. Now, kidney disease is not uh, directly uh, part of uh, diabetes, it's actually part of multi-system affection because of diabetes. So why kidney fails? What happens actually because of diabetes in kidneys? So if we see kidney, kidney has millions of small, small filters. It's a filter which basically filters our blood. Blood has a lot of toxins which are produced because of metabolism in the body. And these filters actually filter these toxins and make urine from blood. Now, if there is a problem in these filters, definitely the filtration will be affected and these toxins will increase in blood. That's what happens in kidney disease. In diabetes, what causes these filters to actually go through this damage? So diabetes, if sugars are not controlled, this high sugar actually leads to different metabolic pathway and ultimately damages the layer of these filters. These filters are not supposed to leak proteins. The first damage and first problem we get in diabetics is these filters start leaking protein. This protein once filtered is again going to damage the further kidney uh, filters, small filters. Over a period of time, this protein leak causes more and more damage. If sugars are not controlled, this damage continues or increases at very fast rate. Slowly, if suppose you had 100 nephrons to or 100 filters to begin with, the number of filters reduces. When the number of filters reduces, the level of creatinine or a toxin which is measured for kidney disease uh, stage increases in the blood. And that's how you get a kidney disease. So the problem here is, uh, it is all because of diabetes. Keeping diabetes is in control is the main key. Whether you are at risk or not is decided by other things also. Like if you have a history of kidney disease due to diabetes, you are at high risk. If you have hypertension other than uh, diabetes, you are at high risk. If your protein loss is very high at the beginning itself, you are at high risk of worsening of kidney disease uh, uh, in your case. If you have uh, irregular use of uh, or uh, painkillers or if you are abusing antibiotics over the counter without prescription in higher dosages, then you are at risk. If you are obese, you are at further risk of kidney disease because of diabetes. So diabetes alone along with all these risk factors causes kidney diseases and they can worsen very fast. Uh, we have to detect it early. The first symptom as I told is protein leak in the urine. So before actually creatinine goes up, we start getting protein leak in the urine. It, it can be detected by a very simple and cheap screening test of urine. So we have to check our urine protein. If there is a urine protein leak, we have a kidney disease because of diabetes and it has to be handled early. Early detection is the key here. If we detect early, consult a nephrologist early because of uh, to address this proteinuria, we can avoid the later stages in dialysis in diabetic patients. Thank you.